Hey, it's Tim here from Expert Power Wash in Portland, Oregon. Hey, I want to show you a, a Honda a GX390 pressure washer that I picked up for free. Uh, Going to fix it up and use it as a backup. Maybe there's some smaller stuff where I don't have to pull a trailer. Let me show you this machine. All right, here's the pressure washer. GX390. Uh, the thing's pretty rough. Let me show you. Again, if you know what you're looking for, you can pick up these things fairly cheap. The replacement parts on these things are, you know, basically almost nothing. So, tire luckily has air in it now, but these things were flat. You know, no hose, no gun, but really anybody that has a business already has all that stuff, so that doesn't really matter. Um, AR direct drive pump. Um, if I was really going to soak some money into this thing, let me move it out of the way there. Um, I would put a gear drive onto this and just use it, you know, again, for, for smaller stuff. But if this pump works, I will use it until the pump doesn't. And then, you know, change it out to a gear drive. There's no really, no, no reason to go belt on this, or at least I don't want to. Um, never had a gear drive, and that's one of the reasons why I'd want to go gear drive. Plus, the, the footprint's going to be a lot smaller. So, you know, it's rusted. It's dirty, it's greasy. You know, the thing looks bad, but these things clean up really, really nice. There's some wire back there that's connected to it. Probably needs an oil change. Um, them things are backwards. I like to lead, you know, with the male nozzle pointing out. So switch that stuff out, get that, get it all fixed up. Uh, this is interesting. Somebody, huh? Somebody put a piece of wood on here. There are two of them. Put this piece of metal on here. This is bolted down through the the frame. So I don't even know if this thing's original, but of course the wood isn't. That's somebody rigging it up. I haven't even tried to start this yet. Uh, seems to be free, you know, gas change, spark plug, you know, whatnot. So I'm going to continue to work on this and uh, I'll do this video in kind of segments and keep on recording as the progress grows on this, uh, this pressure washer. All right, got that female nozzle changed out to a male nozzle. Again, the reason I, why I like to do this, it's a little less uh, restriction uh, as far as flow, you know, flow points out. So it's an easy way to remember. Uh, I like my fittings all to point forward and they snap into the female uh, connection. So here is the one that was on there, has the downstream injector. Um, I do my downstream injectors a little different, so I'll show you guys a quick little tip. Um, so that is just going to go into the garbage. This is stainless steel. Um, this is a general pump. This I just grabbed it straight from my uh, other machine. So goes right on there so I can run again you have that male end pointing out I can run my downstream injector on there and then when I don't want to have it on there pull it right off good to go so you can see how I have that uh, when you get these downstream injectors there are male ends on both sides so female plug and then the male nozzle I just put these together and snap them in when you need them so let's move on to getting this thing fired up. All right, uh, there's pressure washer. Uh, again, this is uh, the first start. I went to go turn on the gas and it's, it's leaking a ton of gas from the carburetor. So I know I got some more issues there, but I'm gonna turn on the gas real quick, try to start this thing and then we'll go from there. See if it starts up.
All right, it's been about a week since I ordered these parts. So most of them have come in. I believe all of them have come in. So here's the pressure washer cart. If you guys remember in the, the previous part of the video, there was a piece of wood mounted to the other cart and it was starting to rust out. Um, this is all aluminum. I'm not sure what brand they are on Amazon for about 160 bucks, but I believe these are the ones that uh, Pressure Pro is using for their machines. I uh, got some other odd and end parts here. Probably wasn't necessary, but I, I like my machines to look good. The exhaust was all rusted out. I think this thing was like under $10. Uh, there's carburetor. There was that leaky bowl in the carburetor. I'm sure it's something I could have fixed, but I would rather have the reliability. Um, this thing was so cheap on Amazon that I just decided to replace the carburetor. Uh, also a little tip, don't forget to get your gasket. And then uh, make sure if you're doing a carburetor on any type of machine, that you go with the original manufacturer um, OEM type carburetor. You don't wanna get one of them Chinese ones. They don't seem to ever work out. Had a bad experience on a dirt bike. Couldn't get the thing dialed in, couldn't tune it. And it all came down to because it had a cheap Chinese carburetor on it. So uh, never again. Uh, here's the gaskets for the exhaust. Just some cheap tips. Um, gonna run J-Rod, but just to have them in there. Um, I was looking at air filters just to replace the air filters as part of the tune-up. This whole air box, uh, again, under $10 on Amazon, and it comes with the air filter in there, so why not? Uh, gas tank was all banged up. I just went with a new one. It was super cheap. Uh, got the, uh, the valve cover here. Again, all this stuff was super cheap. It'll, it'll make it look good and give it the reliability. Um, and then we've got some cool stuff going on here. That's for another video. Stay tuned to the channel. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. And uh, we'll talk about the booster and filters and all that stuff at a later time. But back to the build. I'm going to get all this stuff put together. Of course, I'm going to change the oil. And uh, we'll see how it looks. Wanted to point out something real quick on these uh, Jix 390 exhausts. If you think you're going to get these screws out, I'm sure there's some of you guys that can throw a torch or something on it but just to let you know you're you're gonna end up stripping these things out so if you're thinking about just buying a new cover just get the whole just get the whole thing they're they're cheap and then just toss this so we'll get the new one on here get this thing fixed up all right progress so far we got the new tank on there got the new air box got the new exhaust put on there I will tell you just a couple tips. Of course, I had to put my expert power wash sticker on her. Uh, this lower part here, this is the older part. Um, on some of these aftermarket parts, they don't exactly fit how they're supposed to. So on the new one that I got on Amazon, these levers and stuff didn't, didn't fit in there. So just use the old one, no big deal on that. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see here, but yeah, a little bit there. Got the new carb in, that was super easy. Got the new uh, valve cover. So we are almost ready to move this machine on over to the new cart. All right, we got all the parts installed on this pressure washer. It's on the uh, new cart. You can see how it just fits in there just perfectly. There's a bunch of holes also on this cart. So if you have a different size engine, uh, Put just about anything probably up to a 390 this is probably maxed out but it does fit on there really nice it's not as wide as the old cart so yeah this thing looks looks like brand new so let's take a look here's all the junk that came off it there's the there's the old garbage cart you got wires got the the wood on there box full of uh junky parts so yeah excited to have a little tiny uh, backup machine in addition to you know of course this guy if you look at my channel there's lots of videos and trailer build about this kind of stuff so yeah if you guys are wanting to uh, put together a cheap pressure washer uh, this thing was practically free and I got about $300 into it with all these extra parts so you're gonna have something that's gonna put out four gallons a minute up to around 4,000 PSI for 300 bucks. You can't beat that. All right, guys, have a great day. Enjoy.